Uh, that, uh, me and my WWE relationship is kind of one of those things of, um, kind of like a stepson, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> maybe it's, maybe that's the best way to describe it. There is, uh, maybe there's a, a mu there's definitely a mutual respect between, uh, like definitely for me, because that's always where I want it to be. And uh, they know who I am and what I'm capable of. And they understand that I'm, I'm good at what I do. Last time I did get the call from them, it was for the Cruiserweight Classic. I was eliminated on the first round, um, but they wanted me to come back down. They said they saw a lot of promise and really enjoyed my stuff. They really wanted me to come back. So I came back down, or I had the intention of coming back down to not only uh, work as a filler between the matches on the Cruiserweight Classic, I was going to do that. I was also uh, going to coach for the week. I went to the border uh, to go back down. I'm at customs and uh, customs says, uh, you can't cross. This visa doesn't work. This is a business visa, which means you can't get paid. You gotta, um, you can't uh, come over here. You gotta go for meetings and stuff. Well, I'm, well, yeah, I am going for meetings. I'm going for a coaching opportunity. Uh, and to work on some stuff, but they'd seen my face and they knew who I was immediately. And the border is a tricky thing where sometimes rules don't really apply and then some other rules do apply. On this day, the, the, the lady that was at the counter says, you can't cross. They're paying tickets to see an event that you're on. So that means that uh, you're taking jobs away from America. And so she said, you gotta go home. And so I was dumbfounded. I sat at that counter and I was dumbfounded. After waiting two hours, missing my first flight, I thought, well, I'll just get, a, I'll get rebooked on another flight and still make it down there. Uh, there, was no, there was no flight to be had, she sent me home. So I had to rent a car and drive from Toronto to London thinking for two hours about what was going down. Meanwhile, messaging and having the office uh, say, uh, like say, you're supposed to be down here for NXT tomorrow. You're supposed to do this, this, and this, and we gotta try to fix this. And I was planning to uh, cross the border in Detroit and say, listen, I'm gonna try it again. But then they said, don't do that, because if you get banned, then that's a whole different process. So what happened is I got flagged at the border, which means, I can cross, but I'm going to get interrogated. They're going to put me in their little thing, holding cell for about two hours every single time. So this was, uh, the, you imagine on the way home, uh, the feeling like I thought the first time I blew out my knee and I was so close to a contract was one of those heart wrenching, gut stabbing moments. There was nothing like this one where everything had been lined up and the stars had aligned and I have not only, uh, got a chance to perform on two different shows and give two different styles, but I was also able to uh, give back and to be able to uh, work with their talent, which I was very excited about. All this was taken away by one woman's uh, who figures that on this day, uh, America needed that job. So uh, here I sit. And then I have not, I haven't tried, I tried crossing one more time for Rhino's charity show. I always did Rhino's charity show. And I went down because I had the flag on my passport for like about a year, you have it for about a year. They sent me home saying, well, you're flagged for wrestling. I'm like, well, it's a charity show. Well, you might get paid for this charity show. Or they might, not, they might be just saying it's a charity show for you to get across. I'm like, I don't know when these, when it's become this way. This border used to be so much easier to do. Like I'm even talking after 9-1-1. 9-11 happened and I could still cross that border with very little issue. But now there's issues. So it's just the way it goes. You just gotta either roll with it or let it consume you. I refuse to let it consume me. But this is, this is the story of Tyson is I want to make dad proud, but I'm still the stepson, so I'm going to just stay where I'm supposed to be on the other side of the fence. That's it.